Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for this opportunity. Today, I will present one of our research research entitled Agroforestry Learning Laboratories on the Ground Promotion of Climate Change Adaptation in Selected Upland Farming Communities in Southeast Asia. This is our authors, Leila Isladicho. My name, Christine Wulandari, and Professor Bawui. We are from University of Philippine Los Banos, University of Lampung, and Tai Nguyen, Vietnam. As we know, recently, Southeast Asia is dominated by smallholder farmers who are mostly cultivating in upland areas. So it means right now we are in marginal condition. In upland farming communities, they are right now among the vulnerable risk factors to the impact of climate change. Also, actually, a plant farmer in Southeast Asia already aware about the climate change, but unfortunately, they would not employing climate change adaptation strategies. Based on that condition, so we are from agroforestry researcher considers that agroforestry is the one of key climate change adaptation strategies because there are crop diversification, second one, multiple product to to the year, and also we will have woody perennial provided for ecosystem services. Therefore, we are establishing agroforestry learning laboratories in Southeast Asia as appropriate and workable agroforestry system and technologies applied. This is our objective for our research. First one, develop the knowledge of skills, establish one agroforestry learning laboratory that would be as a showcase of the agroforestry system and technology in three countries. There are our research sites in Philippines, Saria Yakison, in Indonesia, we have in Pring Sewu District, Lampung, and the third one we have in Highland Central in Vietnam. Our methodologies and also the activities, actually we have some that has been conducted. First one, cross-farm visits. This activity have purpose to expose the upland farmers as a different agroforestry practices and climate change adaptation strategies. The second one is promoted farmer to farmer knowledge sharing. There are our respondents in three countries. From Philippines, we have 62 participants, Vietnam 15, and Indonesia 12. So, in total, we have 89 participants. This is our second activities, establishment of agroforestry learning laboratories. This practice or this activities has objective to promote farmer adoption in their own farm. The second one required the activity, engagement and also commitment of local institution. The third one, this activity were established by the community members. And the last one, actually, this activity has initial input that were provided by project collaborators. These are the sites where we have conducted the research. In Philippines, first activity, land water harvesting pond in Bayombong Nueva Visaya. This activity to demonstrate the collection of rainwater during the rainy season. The second one in Philippines, we have outcropping that designed for gentle and sloping farm. And the third one in Philippines, we have integration of fruit trees and root crops in outcropping system. This activity to have control the soil erosion. And the second country, Indonesia. 
We have the first activity establishment of goat farm and gabungan kelompok tani and tanggamus in Lampung province. This methodology actually have purpose as the condition in the research area. We have high potential forage or grasses and we have purpose can produce organic fertilizer from the goat manure for the agroforestry or agro pasture and also to be added the source of income the community. Our second activity in Indonesia, it is uh, agri silver fishery. This lesson, the dependence of the farmer to the forest area and also alternative source income to the farmer. And actually this is the one of our practice as a agro silver fishery approach. The third country, Vietnam. We have one activity in this country, namely integration of high value fruit trees in sloping areas in Quang Tam Commune to youth district, Vietnam. This activity actually being maintained by the Im Nong indigenous people. And this laboratory characterized by mix or complex agroforestry because we have many kind of tree species in that area. Also, this is the next of our term that we got from the research, our some lesson learned. First one, based on the cross farm visit, it is actually an effective mechanism of farmer to farmer transfer of their knowledge. And the second lesson, we have establishment of community dismantlement farm. It is one of our practice that showcasing the agro pastoral al fishery system as a effective climate adaptation strategies. The third lesson, we have the good teamwork. And we know that it is important ingredient in establishment and maintenance of community. The fourth of our lesson learned is uh, we got the active and sensory participation for the all stakeholders. It is also important what our, our got from the research. And the fifth is actually we also have lesson that to develop this laboratory, we require multidisciplinary and integrated approaches. The sixth engagement of the local colleges and university are needed. And the seven, actually we need the longer than one year project to know the succeeded or not our project in our three countries. Eight, we have the farmer to farmer approach. It is also important as an effective approach in technology transfer. And the ninth one is a good and strong management also needed to develop this kind of laboratory also for the collaborating the community in field levels. And for the 10th, we have a lesson that establishment of climate change adaptation strategies should be based on the needs of the farmers or for the community surrounded the forest. So, based on the all of our research research, we have two future direction. The first one, the collaborator for its country should take the lead in the follow up and monitoring the our laboratory. So, we will have the good status of the local, and also we know how the local policy making processes. The second future direction is conduct a fit level impact assessment of the community development. It is, should be implemented by PFON or Philippine Agroforestry Network, Indonesia Agroforestry Network, and also Philipp Vietnam Agroforestry Education Network. This is our acknowledgement to the donor. Thank you very much to the Asia Pacific for the global network. So we have the good and also it's so benefit to the people surrounded our forest. Thank you very much.